everyone and welcome back to civilization 6 so i was gonna do like a whole nother like single player game kind of thing going on and try like a different challenge but then i saw that i was watching i believe it was the spiffing brit because because i was playing civilization 6 it started showing up showing up in my youtube recommended it's amazing how they track our data like that um and apparently somewhere in here and i'm not sure where game options there's some they have like challenges that you could play scenarios there we go play a scenario so this is a unique experience with a specific set of rules leaders and goals that you have to just kind of follow along with which i thought would be really fun so like the conquest of alexander uh let's see let's see which one we want to do the most frustrating scenario experiences in my entire life because the reason why I chose this scenario is it says it is not combat based. It says the person to build seven temples first gets to win the game. Guess what? It would not allow me to build more than one temple. And then after I had built said temple, the game claimed that I had built no temples because I had not defeated any of the other civilizations through combat that were coming as a threat. That is not what this scenario was supposed to be. It was supposed to be building temples. Just let me build temples. That's all I wanted. Okay, so I need to found a city and explore the rich uh, mineral deposits nearby. So your family commands a vital section of the Nile River with your Egyptian neighbors to the north Beset by internal strife, the land of the bow finds itself on the verge. Okay. Um. Oh, that's my scout. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just going to automate them. This is going to be a fairly small map then. Okay, so this shows me some good places to settle. That one's on the edge of, both of these are on the edge of the Nile. But luxuries. Yeah, let's just go with where it started me. I'm gonna automate you. We're going to go for a builder first. Um, fishing. We'll get fishing before animal husbandry. Ooh. Royal dynasties. Mummification. Let's start with hieroglyphics. Need a way to write down stories from our great nation. Plus four combat strength and two faith to the city. Our mercenary archers completed their contract with Egypt. They returned home seasoned and well paid. Batati archers are now available near our capital. We've also gained a hundred gold. Awesome. We're gonna promote them, I suppose. Plus five range strength. Let's build a greenery. I feel like I'm falling behind in this challenge. I know I'm supposed to be building seven types of different things, but like, how do I build them? You know. Thus began my descent into insanity and self-hatred. Okay, so foreign invaders arrive from the northeast. The Hyksos command fierce. What are these anyway? I don't know. 
Chariot board army of Levant. They arrived bearing a tool of war never before experienced along the Nile. The horse. Try to conquer cities and establish a kingdom among the Mediterranean. Oh, nice. So I'm assuming that I'm going to probably want to bring all of my different people back to the city then, if I can. My military forces. And they're still fixing themselves up. Okay. Because if we're going to be taken by war... Progress from the ancient to the classical era. What is Hyksos anyway? I don't know history at all. This game is not for somebody who doesn't know history. <laughs> This game is only 125 turns, so I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing legitimately? I do feel lost. Oh, look, those are Hexos! Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha 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 ha! Let's try and have my little guy retreat. Build a high priestess. Because I think that's something that I'm supposed to be doing. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> We're already quite a ways through the game. Okay, let's see. A religious leader arises to complete your new place of worship. With her aid, we can forge new symbols the divine power is possessed by our gods. This high priestess can be used to build a unique improvement, Sphinx or Nubian Pyramid, once you've researched the masonry technology. I don't think I've researched masonry. Oh, now I have additional high priestess. Now I have two of them! <laughs> Foreign invaders arrive from the Mediterranean. The Libyans come from the west, marching to toward the Nile along the coast. From the east come their mysterious allies, the Sea People. They will try to conquer cities and establish a kingdom along the Mediterranean coast. So it's similar to the Hyksos, then. And these are the Osorkon. King Pie ascends the throne. The righteous King Pie seeks to free the Egyptian people from the rot of the heart of their masters. He must do so even if this extends Nubian rule deep into Egyptian territory. This great general will lead our troops for the next 15 turns. What does he do? He just wanders around. I don't know what he's supposed to be doing. I feel like this game's gonna end without me having done anything. And I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's what I want. Yes, you. I need you. Okay, foreign invaders arrived from the northeast. Assyrians, led by Shah Nabushu, have already conquered Mesopotamian lands. Beware this fearsome foe. These Assyrian invaders will try to conquer cities and establish a kingdom along that Mediterranean coast. Well, what would you know? Everybody, it's hot real estate, man. Everybody wants it. I don't have masonry yet, so let's just kind of send you right here. And then choose a belief. We'll do the science, I guess. Haha! -ha. 
I've captured my unit back. Scribbles. Sure wish I could cross the water. That'd be great. Oh, now Egypt's added yet another settler, and I can't get settlers. I don't... I don't know how to win this game. I don't understand what this challenge is. I thought it made sense. You know, you, you try and build the seven things first, but I haven't even had the option to build those. So I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing legitimately? I need more instruction. Normally games have too much tutorial and it's annoying. This one does not have enough. Okay. And my general has died. That's okay. I didn't know what to do with you anyway. There he will meet the judgment of Osiris. May his deeds earn him eternal life. He literally just wandered around like, I don't know <laughs> what deeds he was supposed to be doing or what, but like, man. Ah, Makadon. Some people pronounce Macedon, but according to the original Greek, especially what Alexander the Third was speaking, it would have been a K sound, not a C sound. And he wants to add the Nile to his empire. Of course, Alexander does. I mean, that's just that's Alexander. Ah, now the Romans are here. Welcome. We're excited to have you, really. I mean, like, if these challenges told me, you know, you gotta defeat this person, you gotta do this, that would make a lot more sense or whatever, but this one said you have to be the first to build, like, seven temples to whoever, and that's not what it is at all. Like, I haven't had to build, I built one temple. And that's all I've done for like the entire game. So I don't, I just, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. And they haven't made it clear at all. from the description it sounded completely different but this has literally just been 125 rounds of me sitting here clicking buttons and that's not a game that's something that's not even worth playing because it's not it does nothing it does no good like I just I wish I could comprehend this. Because I'm definitely left with way too many whys. From the dark, I don't know how I'm supposed to win in the first place because it said build seven things. So it didn't say defeat return. seven people. As the light of our people fades to nothingness, we wonder if one will rise to rekindle. 